Hello guys, in the last video we have seen a bit about particles properties, but we haven't seen any example. So I decided to make this extra video showing some examples of effects made with particles. As the video became longer than I expected, I divided it in two parts and this is the first one. So the first effect that we will make is the cave dripping effect. It is really simple, but it can be used in many situations. So first we create a new particle 2D. Then we create a sprite inside of it. And inside the sprite we can put our roof or cave image. And here is important to uncheck the centered offset. Now we can change the visibility rack position to fit our sprite. And now we can load the emission mask. The emission mask will be just the bottom line of the cave. Now you can select this border pixels option. And so we have our particles being emitted from the cave's roof. And after that we can change the properties to make it look like the type of particles that we want, like water or poison or something like that. And that's it for this example, let's go to the next one. Our next effect will be this explosion. So to make this effect, we will use an animated explosion. Here we will use a 8x8 sprite sheet. Let's first change the positioning. And now we can start to configure the animation. So we will add a new material, and we check this particles animation option, and set the values of horizontal and vertical sprites. Then I will set these values, like the amount of particles, the lifetime, and so on, to some values that I have already tested. Then we can add a new particle material to the process material. Then we will need to change the emission direction, gravity, initial velocity. And then the most important, we will set the particle animation. And to do that, we just need to set the speed here. And we can see that we already have a nice animation. But we can make it look even better, changing the blend mode. Let's do that. And so, this is the final result of this effect. Let's see the next one. This is a light blinking effect. This effect is simpler, but it can still be useful in some situations. So let's see how to create it. First, let's increase the amount of particles. Then we can add a new particles material. And we will set a box as our emission shape. The size of the box we will define here to 100, 100.
Then we can set the gravity to zero and we will see that our effect is almost ready. Now we can change the scale to 3 and we can put a curve here so the particles will start small and increase the size. And then we can go to the color and set a gradient here to add multiple different colors to our lights. And so, this effect is finished. Our next effect will be this space explosion, or space impact. So first, let's increase the amount of particles. Then we decrease the lifetime, set explosiveness to 1 and randomness to 0.5. After that we can set the process material. Here we can change the randomness of the lifetime to 0.52. As we don't want the particles to go in a specific direction, we will put zero to all directions and will just increase the spread. We also don't want gravity. And then we can set a initial velocity. Then we can change the linear acceleration and the radial acceleration and set some randomness here. And with just that, our base effect is ready. Of course, we can make modifications in any of these effects. And that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. If so, please consider subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and thank you for watching. Bye!